Hello, Purpose Seekers. Welcome back to Purpose Calling. Let me ask you this. Have you ever wondered if there's a simple practice that could unlock the abundance you've been craving? One that only takes five minutes a day. Today, we're diving into something life-changing. Catherine Ponder's classic, Open Your Mind to Receive. This book holds the secret to manifesting abundance in ways you've never imagined. But here's the thing. Most people miss one small, powerful step. Later in this video, I'll share a specific affirmation that has helped countless people multiply their income, attract unexpected blessings, and experience breakthroughs they once thought were impossible. Trust me, you'll want to stay tuned for that, and I'll point it out when we get there. Why most of us struggle to receive. Let's get straight into it. Catherine Ponder starts by pointing out a painful truth. Many of us are living far below our potential because we've been conditioned to think small. We live in a universe of lavish abundance. There's more than enough for everyone. But here's where we trip ourselves up. We block our good because we don't feel worthy of receiving it. Somewhere along the line, we picked up this idea that having more is selfish or that we have to struggle to deserve it. Here's the kicker. The word receive literally means to accept. And this is where the shift happens. You can only receive what you're mentally willing to accept. That's why mindset is everything. The danger of a scarcity mindset. Let me share a story Catherine tells in her book. It's about a businessman who owned a t-shirt company. He thought it would be funny to print a slogan on the shirts that said, money isn't everything. What happened? His business went bankrupt. Now, why did this happen? Because he was unknowingly rejecting prosperity. That joke reflected his belief system, and that belief sabotaged his success. Catherine reminds us that whatever you notice, talk about, or identify with is what you attract into your life. Ask yourself, what am I identifying with right now? Is it lack, struggle, or is it abundance and possibility? Flipping the script, nothing is too good to be true. One of the most powerful tools Catherine shares is the affirmation. Nothing is too good to be true. Nothing is too wonderful to happen. Nothing is too good to last. This affirmation works because it reprograms your subconscious mind to believe in abundance instead of scarcity. A young businessman in the book started using it, and within months, his entire outlook and his results began to change. Think about how often we talk ourselves out of blessings with phrases like, that's too good to be true, or it'll never last. These thoughts are like closed doors, but when you start affirming that good things are not only possible, but natural, you throw those doors wide open. Real Stories of Transformation Catherine shares several incredible stories of people who turn their lives around by simply opening their minds to receive. One of my favorites is about a housewife who felt stuck on a fixed income. She realized she had been limiting herself by thinking her income could only come from one source. Determined to change her mindset, she started declaring, I am receiving. I am receiving now. I am receiving all the wealth that the universe has for me. Within hours, she received a call about a job opportunity that perfectly aligned with her skills. That wasn't just luck. It was the law of receiving in action. Her husband's business also started booming, and soon money began flowing into their lives from unexpected places. She didn't just hope for change, she declared it. Giving and receiving, the two sides of abundance. Here's a major insight from Catherine's book. Giving and receiving are two sides of the same coin. Most of us focus heavily on giving, especially during the holiday season. But if you're constantly giving without expecting to receive, you're unbalancing the law of increase. It's like trying to exhale without ever inhaling. It just doesn't work. Catherine breaks giving into three categories. One, giving to God. This isn't about religion. 
It's about acknowledging the source of all abundance. Maybe you tithe, donate, or simply spend time in gratitude. It's about putting the universe first and trusting that it will provide. Two, giving to yourself. Here's something that might surprise you. Self-improvement isn't selfish. It's essential. Catherine says you can't give to others if you're running on empty, so invest in yourself. Whether it's a course, a book, or even just a day off, give yourself what you need to grow. Three, giving to others. Finally, give to others, but do it under divine direction. This means listening to your intuition about what to give and to whom. When you give with intention, you open new channels for blessings to flow back to you. Are you blocking your blessings? Here's another story that really drives this point home. Catherine talks about a restaurant owner who was struggling to keep his business afloat. When she visited, she noticed a sign near the cash register that said, this is a non-profit business. We didn't plan it that way. It just worked out that way. The sign was meant as a joke, but it reflected his mindset. He was identifying with failure, and that's exactly what he attracted. Once he shifted his focus and created a more welcoming environment, his business turned around. The takeaway, be mindful of the energy you're putting out. Whether it's through words, actions, or even your sense of humor, you're constantly shaping your reality, preparing to receive the missing step. Let me ask you this. Have you ever asked for something, maybe in prayer or through manifesting, but didn't truly believe it would happen? That's like planting seeds and then forgetting to water them. Catherine emphasizes the importance of preparing to receive. If you're asking for wealth, but living with a poverty mindset, you're sending mixed signals to the universe. She shares the story of a widowed mother who decided to embody the life she wanted. She dressed the part, acted the part, and dined in the best restaurants, even when money was tight. Her preparation paid off, and she eventually married a man who shared her vision of abundance. The five-minute practice that changes everything. All right, here it is, the part I teased at the beginning of this video. This five-minute practice is so simple, yet its impact can be life-altering. Spend five minutes every day declaring, I am receiving, I am receiving now. I am receiving all the wealth that the universe has for me. Why is this so powerful? Because your words have the ability to shape your beliefs and your beliefs shape your reality. One businessman in the book used this practice and he saw his income multiply eightfold within a year. Another received unexpected checks every time he consistently affirmed all that is mine by divine right now comes to me speedily, richly, freely. I am receiving now. The power of release, letting go to receive. Now, here's the final step that often gets overlooked. Release. After you've done the inner work, affirming, preparing, and giving, you need to let go and trust the process. Catherine suggests saying, it is finished, it is done. I give thanks that I have received and that my good appears in rich, appropriate form under divine timing. This isn't about giving up. It's about making room for your blessings to flow in. Imagine placing an order at a restaurant. You don't keep running back to the kitchen to check on it, right? You trust that your meal is being prepared. The same goes for your manifestations. The law of abundance is for everyone. One of the most freeing lessons in Catherine's book is this. There's no limit to abundance. Receiving your good doesn't take away from anyone else's. In fact, your success can inspire and uplift others. We live in a lavish universe where there's plenty for everyone. So let go of the guilt, the fear, and the old beliefs that say you have to struggle. Your seven day challenge. So here's your challenge. For the next seven days, commit to this practice. Spend just five minutes a day declaring your intention to receive. Write it down, say it out loud, or even turn it into a song. Whatever feels right for you. And don't forget to share your results in the comments. I want to hear about the blessings, breakthroughs, and shifts 
that start showing up in your life. If this video resonated with you, give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. On Purpose Calling, we're all about unlocking the life you were meant to live. Because your purpose isn't just calling, it's waiting for you to pick up. Until next time, remember, abundance is your birthright. All you need to do is open your mind to receive.